When a man pulls up and offers you ceviche out of his trunk, you always say yes. Welcome to a very realistic day of living in a van in Baja, Mexico with my cat Atlas. This morning we drove south to a new spot and after some insanely bumpy roads, we made it to our campsite and I need you to see. Normally in the States, I don't pay for campsites, but when you can rent your own palapa on the beach for $10 a night, sign a girl up. And they had toilets. Now don't think you're unique coming to Baja because everyone does it. So you won't be alone, but that just means you'll have a new group of friends. I was always told taking your cat to Mexico might be an issue, but I have never seen Atlas happy. He just roams and roams and roams his little heart out and then I'll put him back in the van so I can remote work. Living in a van isn't one big vacation for me. I actually own my own marketing company, so I'll put my Starlink out for internet and then I'll work a few hours before I hear vendors pull up in front of me asking if I want to buy anything. They come around with ceviche, scallops, strawberries, cookies, and a ton of other things. And remember, the 